Hey guys, RC Dbuds here. Uh, today we're going to show you how to program a uh, Mini G gyro, a Curtis Young Blood Mini G. It's a great little gyro, and it's about as easy to set up as uh, you know any other gyro the same size, a, a line, or even a Spartan gyro. Uh, so just like those two, uh, in order to start, we're going to pick the modulation mode again. Uh, you have to know the modulation setup of any servo that you're using, whether it's a 760, uh, like a BLS 251, or a standard 1520, or something else, uh, a 1520 that applies to a JR servo. Just make sure you check the specifications of the servo you're using. The first one you have a blue flash, which is a 12 millisecond standard. Uh, most of you guys uh, will probably be doing that. Uh, just the blue flash for the first setup. Second one is a blue red which is a 4 millisecond which is for a JR like 8900, a 3500, 3400 and I'm using a 3500 so this is the setting I'm going to want is the blue red. And then there's a third one like if you have a 760 PWM it's a 3 millisecond like a BLS 251 you want a blue red red. Okay, so in order to start out and, in and to enter programming mode, uh, just like on a Spartan Gyro, you're going to have to plug it in and enter the programming mode within a couple seconds. You might find that it's difficult to enter the programming mode after, you know, it's been powered up for a while. So if so, power it down and, and give it a shot again. Uh, so we're not going to use the GView, we're just going to program it by hand. So in order to enter the programming mode, once you turn it on, you want to hold down the button, and then you're going to see the two lights, the blue and the red, turn on. And then after those turn on, you're going to let go of the, the button. So let's show you how it's done. Apply power. Let that thing power up. See the LED. Hold down the button. Those lights turn on. And then see, it's entering programming mode. And I've got exactly like I wanted the 4 millisecond uh, blue-red. If I want to change between the different kinds, you just press the button briefly. See now it's blue-red-red. 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 Blue, red, red. So that is the setting for a 3 millisecond, or if you've got like a BLS 251, 760 frame rate. Press it again and it's just blue. And just the blue by itself is the standard uh, 12. So I'm going to go back to the blue red red, or the blue red, which is the setting that I want. Okay, so now I've got the setting that I want, I've got the blue red. So I've got the 4 millisecond for the servo, I'm using the 3500 uh, JR. So to go to the next setting you want to hold down the button for 3 seconds. and then you'll go to the next setting. Okay, so this one is either going to be blue or the blue and red together. So blue would be normal and well, looks like it's the red. Yeah, it should be blue or red. Yeah, red is reverse. Blue is normal. And it's also active in this mode, so you can test it out and push the tail. Uh, so if I'm pushing the tail right, I want to see the slider go left or the leading edge of the blades. It depends on the helicopter you're using, but if it's a, a rave, it will look just like an aligned helicopter where when you push it, you want the slider and the leading edge of the blades to go the opposite direction that you push it. Right now, it's going the right direction when I have it in normal, but see I'm going to push the button here just to show you. Now it's going the opposite direction. It's going, the leaning edge is going towards towards the direction that I'm pushing it and that's not what I want. I want the tail pitch slider to go the other way so I'm going to push the button again. Alright. And we're in the blue mode again. Push it left, slider in the leading edge goes right, push it right. Let's see here, get a better view for the camera. P 
push it right, tail pitch slider, and the leading edge goes left. Okay, so now that you've got the correct uh, direction programmed into the gyro, the next one you want to go to is going to be the third one, which is rudder direction. So you're going to tell it which is right rudder, and then you're also going to tell it what, what the right limit is. So what you're going to do is go into the third mode, hold this three seconds, let go, and now what it's asking for is which is right rudder. It's going to be flashing this blue and red, and then it's saying what's right rudder. So you go right on the stick, and then you press the button once, and then now what it's asking for is the end point. So just like any other one, uh, it's asking for the right end point, and you're just going to bump it back a little bit until the servo is not making noise anymore. See how the servo stops binding? We'll show you what it looks like over here. Giving it the right end point. See, but if I bump it left, see now it's buzzing because it's hitting the end point for the servo. So you want to bump it back just a little bit. With your stick to where you're not hearing that binding. Okay. And that's perfect. That's where you want it. For the fourth mode, you hold the button. Personally, it won't do anything. So hold it and then let go. Now you're doing the left limit. So the same thing. Right here, it's binding. The servo is binding. It's it's loud. You can hear it. Bump it. Bump it. and where you're not seeing anymore. If I wanted to make the limit this far, I could go here and then get out of exiting the programming mode, and this will be the limit. But I want it to be to the end, but pulling it back a little bit so I have no binding, but I still have full travel availability, but then there's going to be no binding. So then once you're done with that, just like exiting out of the other modes, you just hold it for three seconds. And there you go. You're all set and you're programmed. You can power it down and you're ready to go. Um, but just as a second, second check, you want to know that your servo's going the correct direction. So left rudder makes it go right, or the leading edge go right, which is what I want. And right rudder makes the leading edge go left. If that's wrong, you want to change the direction of the servo. Make sure when we push it right, we want to see the slider and the leading edge of the blades go left, which is what we want. And that's exactly what we've got. So this is all we had to do. You know, we enter the, the programming mode by holding the button until the lights turn on and then release it. Make sure we do it at, right after powering up. If you want to go between the, the different modes, you have to hold the button for three seconds. And if you want to go between the different selections within each mode, you just press the button briefly. First one is modulation of your servo. Second one is correction direction. Third one is rudder direction and right limit. So you're going to show it the right, press the button. While you're holding, make sure you're holding the stick all the way to the right when you push the button. If you're mounted upside down, you might have to hold left. Uh, just make sure that the tail pitch slider is going the directions that you, you want them to go to. Final setting is the left limit. You increase and decrease to set your limit. Once you're done with that, you know, hold for three seconds, then power off, and you're done. One last little piece of information on the Mini G Gyro. If you have a T-Rex 500 size or, you know, 425 millimeter size helicopter, uh, there's a certain setting, it's a Model A, which is for most helicopters, you know, small and large. But if it's a 500 size, you want to have a Model B. And in order to enter this mode, you're going to hold left rudder and push the button to get into programming mode. And then it'll be either blue or blue and red. So we'll show you how, to, how that looks here real quick. Okay, so what we're going to do here now that we're all fired up is we've got the gyro here, we're going to hold left on the rudder and then we're going to 
push the button here and either you're flashing blue or you're flashing blue and red in here blue is model A for most helicopters this is a Ray 450 so I'm gonna want to be on blue but if you've got a T-Rex 500 or a Protos 500 or an Atom 500 any of those helicopters you want to try model B if it's not working quite right for you and that involves just entering the setup mode with the left with the rudder held onto the left stick I want it flashing blue so I'm going to exit this mode again by holding it down for three seconds all right, and we're done. Thanks for watching, guys.